Hey guys, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria, and this is my very first What I Ate in a Day video. So I'm doing a What I Ate Wednesday because I tracked everything I ate yesterday, which was Wednesday. And so I'm going to talk about everything that I did in terms of exercise, as well as everything that I ate yesterday. And I will give you guys totals of my calories, as well as my macronutrient intake. Um, in terms of grams as well as ratios at the end of this video as well as my total water intake for the day. So uh, let's get right into it. So I started my day off yesterday with about 750 milliliters of water. I usually track in the mornings and then as I go throughout the day I start losing track but I know um, I have a rough idea of how much water I get in uh, by the end of the day just based on how many times I've had to fill my water bottle up. So that's a really good tip for tracking water intake um, is to use a bottle, know how much it holds, and to track that throughout the day, how many times you're filling it up. Okay, so after I had my water, I had slept in yesterday um, until about 7.30. So I got about nine hours of sleep, nine to 10 hours of sleep. And then I rode my stationary bike for about 50 minutes, um, moderate intensity, so I did break a sweat. It was storming outside. Usually I like to get outside and exercise, but because of the weather, I did an indoor workout and that was great. And then by the time I got done with that, the weather had cleared up some and I took my dog for about a mile walk. It took us about 20, 25 minutes. Then I came back, had some more water, and then I made a smoothie. So my smoothie included four frozen bananas, four cups of store-bought pulpy orange juice, and one and a half cups of mixed frozen berries. So blended that all up. It was quite delicious. Totaled with those two, um, the smoothie plus the apricots is about 1150 calories, give or take, for just for in the morning. So then um, that was all before 11 o'clock. I went to water aerobics at 11 from like 11 to 12. And uh, I just did some light uh, water aerobics, more like calisthenics. I feel like it's kind of like Pilates in the water. But um, it's fun and it's good to do while I'm pregnant or just in general. Uh, good form of exercise. After I got done with water aerobics, I'm still sipping on my water. As I go, I wasn't that hungry, so I just had a small snack. I had an apple. Uh, and then I knew I was going to be hungry in about an hour from then, so I started making a pizza. And uh, my pizza had about two and a half cups of gluten-free um, all-purpose baking flour. I like to use gluten-free gluten flour that is uh, rice flour based. Um, so the flour I used yesterday was Bob's Red Mill. I've also used King Arthur brand. I prefer the King Arthur brand, um, but any you know gluten-free all-purpose flour that's low in sodium will do. That particular brand has about 10 milligrams of sodium per serving, which I believe a serving is about a quarter of a cup. So very low sodium pizza. Uh, for the crust, I also added about two tablespoons of coconut sugar. Then I mixed that all up, the dry ingredients. Then I added about two thirds a cup of water um, and mixed that in. And then I added more water um, per the dough needed. So I tried to get it not too sticky, but not too dry. Um, and then I just molded it into my pan and I baked it for about 10 minutes after it came out. I added my veggies, so I added about four ounces of uh, no salt canned tomato sauce, uh, about one cup of white mushrooms, and about three cups of raw spinach. Then I threw it back in the oven, baked it for about another 10 to 15 minutes, uh, took it out, let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then by that time I was pretty hungry, so, and it came out amazing. And um, dinner came around and I made um, my husband and I some cooked white rice. Uh, he had some of his meal and then I kind of ate that as like a main meal for myself. I had about three cups of that. Plus about a serving of baby carrots, <clears throat> a fourth of a cucumber, a fourth of a red bell pepper. Um, and then I had about five half nori sheets, so it's about two and a half 
full nori sheets. Um, I just get the roasted nori from the store. I like the taste. <laughs> um, I don't have it every day, but it's fun to make little sushi rolls with. So I just uh, take the little half nori sheet and I put the rice down and then I put the cucumber and bell pepper down and I roll it up and I dip it in lemon juice. So that's what I had for dinner. And then I had about two cups of apple juice um, after dinner. And that was what I had to eat for the day. So in terms of total calories, it came to 3,380 calories. And um, I just want to mention briefly that I am pregnant right now, but I do eat the same amount roughly when I'm not pregnant. So this video can be applied to anybody who is or isn't pregnant. Um, my net calories, so after exercise, came to 2,662. Um, my total protein intake was 56 grams. Carbohydrate intake was 777 grams. And my total fat intake for the day was 13.6 grams. In terms of percentages, it came to 91% carbohydrates, 5% protein, and 3% fat. And then uh, just some other, and that's the way I like to have my diet. So I generally don't eat overt fats, uh, maybe once during the week, so that will raise my fat percentage slightly. But I'm generally sticking to that 95-5 ratio. My total sodium came to 280 milligrams of sodium for the day. And uh, just because I'm pregnant, I'll throw it out there, my iron was uh, 22 milligrams. So that's it for this what I ate in a day video. Uh, in terms of water intake, I had about four liters of water, four to five, somewhere in there. I am drinking a lot more water because I'm pregnant and because um, it's really hot where I live and dry. So that calls for more water intake, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more what I eat in a day videos. Well, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.